Welcome back and today is going to be all about the tools in Photoshop. So without no further ado, let's just get straight into this because we really don't want to spend much time in this class as which I know you guys want to get started with Photoshop seriously. So let's just go through this stuff. So the first thing we have here is the move tool. Now the move tool is used for what? moving item from one place to the other in Photoshop. Like now if I just unlock this background and I just want maybe a little part of this image, I can just make use of the move tool to move it to this position and I'm just gonna leave it there or I can take it what up to this what part. It all depends on what you wanna do with the move tool but in short, the move tool is used for what? moving item from one place to the other in Photoshop. I'm just going to undo that right now. So the next tool we have here is the word rectangular marquee tool. Rectangular marquee tool is used for making a rectangular selection. Let me show you that. And I'm um, sorry if I couldn't show you. Here is the tool, and this is what it looks like. So now, so let's say I want to make a selection of a particular place, and if I just hold down the left click and what do this? Oh, so let's say um, I just want to put, or oh, I just need this part in a separate layer so i can just make use of the word the rectangular marquee tool and when i draw around the area that i want i'll just come down to this part i might just right click and go to what layer via copy and right now i have what that area i selected in another layer so the next tool we have here is the word the lasso tool all right so the lasso tool do the same thing almost the same thing just like the polygonal i mean just like the word rectangular marquee tool it, it's used for making selection but the difference between the word the rectangular marquee tool and the lasso tool is that the lasso tool is used for what making a freehand selection and why the word rectangular marquee tool is used for making a what a rectangular selection or a square selection that is if you hold and shift on your keyboard so let me show you this one so let's see now i want to select just i'm just going to try because i'm making use of a mouse right now and my selection is really really going to be bad so you really don't want to blame me so let's just i want to make a selection of this flag i can just what put the left click down on my mouse and then move this to any position of my choice or just go through run or just go through the custom part i want to take this to so i can just come down and then do this so now as you can see i've made a word a selection around the flag with the word custom movement of my own hand making use of the mouse i can just right click now and hit on what layer via copy and when i turn this off i have the flag layer on another layer itself so i'm just going to undo this and um delete this layer and zoom this out a bit so now the next thing we have here is the word the quick selection tool now come to think of it you make selections right we just make a selection right now with the word the lasso tool but why is it to call the word the quick selection tool why is the lasso tool not called the quick selection tool as well well we're going to find out now the difference between the word quick selection tool and, and the quick selection tool and the lasso tool is that with the lasso tool you make a word a free hand selection but with the quick selection tool when you select it automatically clip the edge of a picture for you this for you that you want to select as long as you have a word a high quality picture it's going to what automatically what pick the picture or select that picture for you easily just most times with one click or so or if you have a word an image with one color or a shape with what one color it will easily would pick up that one color for you instantly so let me show you that so let's say i quickly come here and i create a first shape and then inside of that shape um i'm going to just use the word rectangular marquee tool and make a selection of this right here at this word point you know this i'll just quickly do something like so and uh, change the color right now something like red and i'm just going to fill that part and deselect now if i grab the quick selection tool right and i click once on this you see that what happens it would select every word 
part with the red leaving only the part with the black so if i deselect this right now and i click again it's going to what select everything on the afterward everything on black and leave everything on what red because they are two different colors so let me show you something else so if i undo this and i would delete this layer and i come down to this place of the car and i start selecting you can see what happened right select only what the cars and most because they are almost all with the same word color and before i get to this part it has what select that part for me you can just go through and with the selection and when i'm done with the selection i will just what hit on ctrl j or we'll just create a new selection a new layer via copy of via cut so that's based on the word the quick selection too let's move over to the word the crop too All right and these tools but where i show and have it in mind that i am not going in depth on how to make use of all these tools in this tutorial we're just taking what a basic introduction to all these tools and what what the two does what the two do in what in photoshop so the next tool we have there is the word the crop tool so now let's say we don't want some part of this i know there are various ways you can what use the crop in photoshop but this is the most what commonly used one and the popular way of cropping photos in almost every programs which you use so let's say we don't want this part of the word image of this part okay so let's just look at this part now this is what this is causing a distraction right here and we don't need it and all these people right here is causing a distraction too as well but we want to take them away from it. we don't want to remove the background we don't want to cut them out we just want to crop them because we still like other part of the word the image so you go over to this part and you select the word the crop to and make sure that you don't have anything in these two rectangles so with the crop to select it you can just sort of move to all these edges with these edges you've seen the six edge or the eight, eight edge you can use it to what adjust your image to the what particular size you want so since i don't want this i will just drag this in from this part to here and since i don't want this ones here i can just what drag this to this part just like that and when i'm done with the cropping i will just hit in the word the check the check mark icon right there as you can see i just would resize my picture to what something else so now that's it on the crop too so the next two we have here is the word the frame two if i'm correct oh i really don't know yeah the frame two so now the frame two it's used for what making a frame which you would easily insert a picture let's check that i've not really made use of these two multiple times so i've done if i really make use of these two i've used these two just once or twice and so on but it's a really really nice tool and it's really cool and what cc19 in the world photoshop so let's quickly watch see what that does so let's say i want to add up some image to this part and here is how the tool looks like in case you just want to see that so let's say i want to make a what some kind of um stuff right this way i can just quickly what drag this and make this at this part then i might just go into my word fire explorer and drag any picture and i will drop it there right as you can see now the shape i just what created with the frame to you give me the word you just clip my work my image inside of that word shape that i selected in other words you can still do this by making use of the word the clipping marks with a particular shape you created right so now let's try that again get something else and what let's just what, do this and you go into your word your fire explorer and you drag let me just shift this and you drag and you drop it right you can see that so that is the use of the word the frame two i'm just quickly go ahead mark this two item and i'm gonna delete that and the next two we have here is the word the color picker so we all know what color picker is but in case you don't know i'm just gonna quickly show you that so when you click on the color picker just quickly look here and try to look at the what the top right of my photoshop so when i hope when i select the color picker to it enables me to what pick any colors from any part of my word my image both shapes or picture or whatever you're working on it enables you to what pick i can even pick from here as well and um when i just click on here you can see that i have a different color here and the colors i just picked just to change when i click here 
it's gonna give you another color when i click here it's gonna give you another color I click here it's gonna give you another color now you use this to uh, get some certain colors that is if you don't really know in what in your design work or you decide to what make use of one color throughout and you try the colors it's pretty cool but you really don't know the hex code of the color you just have to make use of the color picker to pick these and boom you're done with the word the color now here we have the word spot healing brush if i'm correct yeah the spot healing brush which is what this now the spot healing brush as i don't know you already guessed that right it's used for what healing spot but excuse me but is that really true um well let's find out so let's say um i really don't like this stuff here don't know if that is gonna work out but let's just come up to this part when i hit this up and i just would draw once you see what happens right i can just release decrease this a little bit and i can just with a left click and i'll just draw over this stuff right so now as you can see that stuff i've been taking away right several stuff and this one on this part i can just click once and it's gone click once and it's gone click 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 and it's gone you see that that is the use of the word the spot healing brush right very simple isn't it but there are more to this too which we take on what next time so here we have the word the brush the brush now what is brush used for painting isn't it most artists use the brush for painting and so we have it in photoshop right and i know you might have seen some photoshop artists who make use of the word the brush the brush is used for drawing and it's used for what for painting but let's just what, confirm that so right now i'm just going to quickly create a new layer right here so i can just say i want to add some kind of a little bit effect to this car right so let's say a little bit of this red at this part i want to add it to this part of the car so i can just come down and just do that my just go over to this part and do this so now as you can see i have this on the what the car as you can see with the brush too i'm using to what apply this color just feels like i'm giving it a new color and i'm painting it or mixing both colors together it all depends like i usually said there are more to this too because we have various types of brush and most times the works you are doing the default brush with photoshop are not good for them you need to load up some other brush or you download some other brush so we have to take on all those part gets brushes and so on but for now this is just what the use of the what the brush to and we have the soft brush and what the hard brush but as we keep going we know how to what, make use of all these tools because i'm not really gonna go back and start explaining all these tools one after the other or how to make use of all these tools but as we keep working you see how i make use of these tools and i'll make sure to what, break them down for you to see so click the latest layer and the next tool we have here is the what the clone stamp to the clone stamp to what is it used for what is the clone stamp to use for i really don't know but let's just what find out so let's say now i want to erase this handle of the word the car this word point now i know you might be asking okay so let's so nobody you might be asking the word the brush and the clone stamp too has the same cycle i don't work on this well the clone stamp too is just like brush which you can still watch in the brush at any given time just like the brush too because you use and you want you erase just like you painting just the way we paint with the what the brush too but it's totally different from this one now for the clone stamp too you don't pick colors and paint you pick from the word the item itself and what paint let me show you that so now if i just click on this part right now and i hold down alt and what sample it is called sample not picking you hold down alt and I will sample from this part. I can just move over to this part and I will put that. Come down here. <coughs> Sorry. I will hold Alt click and I will move down to this part. Click on here. And I will move down to this part. Click this part. Just quickly go over this. Just like that.
all right so now as you can see now if you take this image and show it to someone else they're never gonna believe what you just did that there is no handle on the part of the door or what so when you tell them there is no handle they are really going to what believe that isn't it okay that is that for now so the next two we have is the what the history brush what is the history brush does i don't know if you're really familiar with what history when you say history going back to the what the old things or maybe the old good days the old bad days or just trying to remember things or what trying to bring back things that have kept for long or just what forgotten for what for long the same thing applies to the word the history brush now if you notice we just were paint off the handle of this door with the word the clone stamp too but if we grab the history brush and we pen over it's going to bring that back right as you just see when i hit on ctrl z it's going to do that when i hit on ctrl shift plus z it's going to what bring it back so the history brush is used for what bring it back the things you've done in short it is used for what undo just like that but not always so you don't really rely on the history brush for undo and what so on but in some cases you just really need to what use it because it's pretty what important so the next thing we have there is the what the eraser too the eraser tool we know what else the eraser tool does right now for what erasing yeah just that nothing more to that except what we take on the word other eraser tool and so on so the gradient tool is used for what applying what gradient so let's say i want something like a two color on this word image i can just go ahead put a new layer with the gradient tool i'll just click and draw and apply the color and go down here and apply something like this as you can see now we've got in the another just what two color right here and you can just go ahead and erase what this and you have various ways of which you can what change the colors it all depends on what what you want but later you know what to say you can just simply complete that Remember? Hmm? okay so the next thing we have is the word the blur to what is the blood to do so let me quickly delete this and let's see okay so let's move into details with so this part so when i grab the word the blood to which is right here and i come down to this part let me say i increase the size of the blood to and i will paint just put out a little bit of concentration on the word the flag i just take this chain upward and i paint you see what happens right will blur the flag just with the word the blur too so the blur too is used for blowing for blurring a what a particular item all right so let me just take that back and that's what we have here so i guess the next two we have here should be the word the dodge too if i'm correct yeah the dodge too it's used for what applying highlights to a what particular item so let's say some part of this model is what a little bit dark than what i would expect it and i decide to what add a little bit of light to it i can just grab the what the dodge to with some little settings up here and as you can see i'm adding what highlights to the what the car so just there so the blood too it's used for what adding light and we still have the opposite of it which is the what the bond to the bond to it's used for what adding the what the shadows um just like the dark or what, so on next thing we have here is the what the pen too i'll just quickly go and walk through these two but this is really going to be on a separate video on its own on how to what make use of the pen too because the pen too itself it's something on its own that is really going to take you much time to what to learn i guess it took me it took it take me probably like um let me just say three months to master the word the paint but not really what master at least i use the first month to understand how the paints work practice more on it and know how to make use of it and the remaining two months to understand the other controls of the paint too and later on i become a word master making use of the word the pen tool but now the pen tool is used for making selection and it's used for tracing but in a different way from the word the other selection tool with what gone through so the pen tool when you click once it's going to give you a point and this point is called the anchor point then you go to the next place you want then you click and 
the drag all right that's just gonna be the little i can show you on the word the pen too because i really don't want to stress you when you try to make use of the two because most time the two is really really interesting but if you try it on your own without getting some kind of a tutorial on how to make use of the two it's really really going to be frustrating so i'm just going to stop here on the pen too then we head over into the word the text too which is this one we have here which is the word the t okay so i'm just going to word undo this thing i do by pressing the backspace on my keyboard and i'm going to select the word the text too the text too is used for what typing in what photoshop yeah do i really need to say that text to type to in some programs it is called the type to some programs it's called the text to and i don't know that's just it so when you grab the text to and you click on any part it's and you start typing with your keyboard it's going to what adding the text you just type and you have various ways you can use to what adjust the word the text you just type you can change the color if you like you can change the font too if you like like what we have here it all depends on what you want and you can change the size and what so on so i'm just gonna take that off and delete that and the next two we have here is the word the part or yeah the part selection too right why is it called the part selection too well i'm going to show you now when you grab the shape too and you create a shape and put this on a new layer uh it automatically create a new layer for me sorry about that when i create this now this stuff you see this stuff you see here is a what a part right now why is this to call the part selection because in some programs with this kind of an icon it's usually called the word the move to and i guess in photoshop cs6 and below the two the move to is just what like this isn't it but let's see why is it called the word the part two instead of the word the move two. So let's first of all grab the move two and grab and we'll move this. This is we're moving and we will grab this one. It's still what moving. But did you notice anything? This is what moving the word the lines of the word the shape we just created, which is the word the path because this is the word the parts which is one two three and four that is connecting to each other this is the word the part but there's still more to that and i'm going to show you now if i go grab the word the move to and i hold down word alt on my keyboard and i click and drag to make a duplicate of this shape when you look over to the layer part it gives me another word rectangle isn't it yeah but let's say in some cases you don't want too much layer but you want to rectangle how are you going to do that so i'm just going to undo that by deleting this layer right now so when you grab the word the part selection to and you hit hold on up on your keyboard and you click and drag right this is it and what happened you have those two items on one layer isn't it how does that work you would select the part not the word the item you select all this part right here and you duplicate the part so when you grab this now you will be able to what move one or the other now the move to move the layer and why the part move the item on the what the layer most especially the shapes i've not really tried this on any other part or any other thing like image or so on i just use it based on what and shape so right now you can see i can make a four rectangle inside of one layer you see the difference now right good so i can just what, go ahead and delete that layer then we'll move over to the word the next two i just make use of these two very well which is called the word the rectangle to inform shortcut you can call it the shape to or whatever you want to call it but it is called the word the rectangle too so when you click on that you'll be able to what use this tool to create custom rectangle of your choice it all depends on what how you want to make use of it there's nothing more to stock on that tool just to, but the two so now as you can see you can see that i am moving this with um i'm moving the image in my word photoshop from one place to the word to the other let me put it, let me take this away right so how do i do that with the word the hand to right here but now i did not select the hand to but i can what, move this isn't it now okay so how do i do that i just make use of the word the space bar on my keyboard so with the hand to select it so let's say i zoom out now 
when you grab the hand tool, you won't be able to uh, move this item but if you zoom in you'll be able to uh, navigate along to any part of your word your picture so come to think of it this is really going to be nasty if this tool is not in photoshop we're going to slow down in some cases so let's say now we want to go to the front part of this guy you have to come down to this part like this and you want to go up you come down to this part and go up a bit but it's very bad so let's say we want to go back to the bottom edge of this car you just hope you just will grab and move your hand to and you will you move down to this part as fast as what well, as it can be so that's the use of the word the hand to and the next two is here we have what the zoom to yeah do i really need to explain that well let me just go through that which is used for what zooming in and out when you have the plus icon when you click you zoom in zoom in when you look up here and you click you come back again and you click what zoom out and there are more to this so i'm just quickly go through this one because this is really where it begins and this is where it ends right isn't it so now when i come down to this part i hit on what 100 percent you see how it's going to work zoom in my image by what 100 percent and when i hit on what fit this fit screen it's going to what fit my image to my photoshop size and when i hit on what fill screen this is what it's going to just fill out everywhere of my what, my photoshop so the next things we have here is just the what, the colors which i just show you the, fog, the foreground color and the background color and this is used for switching colors and what, so on so i really hope you will enjoy this class and make sure to what, watch the next class that's coming up which i really don't know what it's going to be i uh, just have to what, check my scheme and what, see but for now make sure to what, give this video a thumbs up and i would like to what, see your comment and know your progress in what in photoshop and have a nice day guys see you guys in the next class keep practicing